Let's paint some winter sweater inspired rocks. Start by base coating your rocks with simple colors such as blue, red, or green. Then we're gonna take and create lines along our stone. Now for this one, we're doing a snowflake, so we're doing two close together and then two wider apart. As you can see here, the wide areas is where our snowflakes are gonna go. Once you've got all of your lines on your rock, you can put little singular dots all the way down the rows that are really close together, and then we're gonna create X's along our center lines. The center line is gonna create the sixth line of our snowflakes, creating little dots at the end of each of your lines it will help separate the snowflakes along your design. Next, we're gonna do our little Christmas trees. For this one, we're gonna do two lines close together and then one further apart, and then repeat that all the way up. Now you can do multiple little lines together or just a singular one, however you wanna do it. In the larger gaps, we're gonna create our trees. So start by just placing your triangles along your stone, and then we are going to create a little dot on the top and a few stripes for their decorations. It's good to keep these simple because you have to repeat the process and pattern and you don't have a lot of space. Next, in the skinny area, we are going to do stitching creating little X's in just one of the gaps. If you have two gaps, you can leave one open. And I like to extend the pattern as far up and off the edges as possible. And for this last one, we're gonna do snowmen. So again, we're gonna space out a bunch of lines on our rock. We need one section that's gonna be larger for us to make our snowmen, and then one to two sections that are smaller for a cute little stitch style design. Now I know this is gonna get asked in the comments. Um, this is actually a gel pen that I'm using in this tutorial. It's the Uniball Signo UM-153. It is in our supply shop. So for this one, we're just gonna do two circles. Obviously one's gonna be a little bit bigger than the other one. We're gonna space them out a little bit because we're gonna come back and add a couple little snow flurries in between each of our snowmen. I just think the little dots in between each of the snowmen pull the whole design together. Now on this one for the stitching, I decided to do more of like a ladder style stitch. But again, like all of these tutorials, these can all be interchanged and you can create lots of fun different stitches and patterns inside your lines to create these fun sweater rocks. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you follow along so you don't miss any of our upcoming holiday tutorials. And I'm gonna leave the playlist for all of our Christmas rocks right here for you as well. Happy painting.